Dinosaurs and bees set out to be best friends forever. What went wrong? Bees are old, like really old. The earliest recorded bee was found in Myanmar and is 100 million years old. And dinosaurs are even older. They were already wandering around the planet some 100 million years before the bees. But what's interesting is that for some 40 million years, they lived together peacefully and in harmony. Then, about 65 million years ago, dinosaurs disappeared. What happened? Why can we eat some delicious honey today, but can't go Diplodocus back riding? There are two main possible explanations. One, bees are at the core of eusociality, the highest form of organization of sociality. They take care of each other, live in a community, divide the workload and provide for each other. They also develop incredible communication skills. By functioning in a network, they become more efficient learn from each other and become stronger. When the asteroid arrived, they were able to adapt their ways in order to survive, whereas dinosaurs ran amok, having prepared no sustainable plan. 2. This second option is that the bees that lived with dinosaurs were not the same bees as the ones we know today. They were called carpenter bees, and some members of the scientific community affirm that these prehistoric bees actually did go extinct with the dinosaurs. The Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, during which the asteroid killed all dinosaurs, disrupted the relationship between bees and plants and led to their extinction. We can then only assume that their ingenious form of society led them to ensure a version of themselves would be able to appear again once Earth had settled down in the aftermath of an asteroid. Both theories are plausible, but lack of evidence complicates the researchers' results. However, observing the evolution of ants supports you sociality being at the core of survival. There are over 10 quadrillion ants on Earth, that's like all humans multiplied by one million. Ants have been roaming the world since the mid-Cretaceous period. They survived the dinosaurs thanks to their ingenious social organization. They count amongst the world's best engineers. They forage and build homes for entire colonies, sometimes accommodating tens of thousands with amazing structural engineering. Their social organization is also admirable. They live by specific rules. Most importantly, the queen, sole reproducer of a colony, is protected in chambers dug deeply in the colony for safety. So if bees and dinosaurs are to teach us one thing, it's that only collaboration allows for survival, no matter how big you are.